Hi Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, CCIE12933 here, and in today's three-minute boot camp for you CCNA and CCNP switch candidates, we're going to take a look at Telnet versus SSH and ask ourselves, what's the big deal about SSH? Because during your CCNA studies in particular, you learn all about Telnet, or if you want to pass the exam, you better be learning all about Telnet, because you've got to set it, you got to know how to set it for a router, you got to know how to set it for a switch, you got to know how to work with the enable password perhaps you got to know what users can do when they tell it in by default and what they can't do there are a lot of little details that go along with that access on that topic very quickly I do invite you to visit the website that's where that bitly URL goes and there's a page there that gives you about 20 minutes of free video training where we go through all those steps I was just talking about and also there's a written tutorial but again if we come back to telnet and if it's all over your CCNA studies and maybe you use it to connect to a remote pod to your network maybe I'm still using it what's the big deal about SSH then why is Telnet suddenly so bad well it's not necessarily bad but it's got one big flaw to it that we need to be aware of Telnet sends everything in the conversation in clear text and that includes passwords now that's never been a good thing but in today's world it's a particularly bad thing because if your network has what I call a one-size-fits-all username or one-size-fits-all password for Telnet they just have one single password if that gets picked off and that person that hacker goes in then they're in the network they can cause all kinds of damage SSH encrypts the entire conversation from beginning to end including the password so when you see that of course it's kind of like that TCP UDP discussion we have. Hey, if TCP's got all these features, uh, why does anything use UDP? Well, you might look at this and say, why does anyone still use Telnet? Well, SSH requires some extra hardware, and it also requires a slightly more difficult configuration, but it's not going to be difficult for you. I want to show you a couple of samples here on the board. This is a typical Telnet config. The login and password commands there are required. Privilege level 15 is not, but I put it in there anyway because it's an important command for your network and for the NA exam in particular. So if you're not familiar with that, make sure to go out and watch those other, vi other videos I mentioned. Here's a typical SSH config. You're going to set a username password, an IP domain name, use the crypto key generate RSA command, and set your version you cannot just put a password on the VTY lines and obviously I'm putting it on a switch here because I've got 0 and 15 you cannot just put login and then password if you're using SSH so that's something to watch out for on your exam as well I'll show these configs in action in another video in the future and of course in our Bulldog DVD coming out for this particular course but again even if you've already got your NA I do invite you to visit this page again about 20 minutes of free video training there and I'll show you all those details about Telnet you need to know. Thanks for watching today's three-minute boot camp. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE12933.